What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I saw this trending on Twitter. Actually, I saw Brittany Renner trending on Twitter. I thought that they may have been talking about uh, the, what I spoke about in my video yesterday about Brittany Renner, you know, struggling badly financially. Well, apparently she's uh, she's trending again because Deion Sanders posted a video of her speaking to the team. Now, I don't know if she went back to Jackson State recently. I know she did uh, go back to not go back. She went to Jackson State that she was she went to go talk to the team. She also did an appearance at a club. Now, I don't know if this is from this particular uh, visit. But Dion reposted this to his Instagram today. And man, <laughs> people are going in, man. And listen, Dion is a smart dude. Dion is a smart guy. And he did this for a reason. And we're going to get into that reason. But I, I don't think this is a bad thing. I don't think this is a bad thing whatsoever to invite her to speak to the team because these guys probably follow her on Instagram. They follow females like her on Instagram already. And for the guys that have an NFL future, right? Those guys are the ones who really need to hear that because they're the guys that are going to be enticed to deal with these Instagram models. And I think Dion brought her in because she's, She's a hot name out there. Let's just be real. People are talking about her. She goes viral no matter what she does seemingly. And how, and Dion again, he's a smart guy. He understands this is also going to bring uh, people more eyeballs to Jackson State. So he knows this, but I think he really wants her to speak to his team to sort of have them understand the power of staying focused and the power of not falling for these women finessing you. And what's interesting is that you have Brittany Renner who's talking about how uh, she got finessed by her ex, right? She, she's pinning everything on him. She's pinning everything on PJ Washington. And she says she didn't finesse him, but she's talking to those guys and teaching them how to not get finessed. So this is according to Complex. So Jackson State Tigers head coach Deion Sanders in an unprecedented move invited Instagram model Brittany Renner to speak with the team. It's my responsibility as a coach to prepare my young men for any and everything on the field and off, wrote Sanders alongside a video of the meeting on Instagram. I brought in Brittany Renner to educate them on how the game is played between man and woman at their age and stage. The message may not be for everybody, but trust me, it's for somebody. See here in the clip, Sanders introduced Renner to this team for them to respond with laughs and clapping. So when you reach a certain status, you can have the pick of the litter, said Renner. Uh, so uh, who was there to warn the team about the dangers of flirty DMs and the responsibility that comes with being a public figure, if these players make it to the NFL, the world is their oyster. You can do whatever you want. You get to skip the line. You get the privilege. People just want to be next to you. They don't even see you as human anymore. And this is the video clip here. Uh, let's play a little bit of this. Why not? That really popped him, man. They got a big pop out of that, man. Calm down now, calm down. You, you introduce yourself and let's go from step A to Z because we got to kind of show these guys the other side right. of game. And that's mm -hmm. why you gracefully blessed us with your presence so they could understand from your point of view 
how this game is played. So my name is Brittany Renner, AKA Bundle of Brittany on Instagram. I have been on social media for almost- Joke ain't took notes all year, but now you And that's how the game starts, with the phone. Right. They go on Instagram, and they see you. And what happens? They try to get off in the DMs. And kind of take us on the journey of how this is played out. I mean, honey, like, I feel like my DMs, it's like a Nike store. There's nothing but checks. So it just, for me, I feel like... Hold when... on, hold on, hold on. They missed that game. <laughs> <laughs> nothing but blue checks. They missed that game right there. She says like a Nike store. It's like a Nike store. There's nothing but blue checks. So honestly, when you reach a certain status, you can have the pick of the litter. So for me, she, she don't mean checks, paper, she mean <coughs> blue checks. I'm talking heavy Verified. hitters. Some of y'all's favorite rappers, uh, NBA players, football players. It's like, <coughs> to me, once you reach that level just of popularity, the world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want. And for me, my whole journey on here, I felt like my life almost felt like I was in Disney World, like I lived in Disney World. Like you get to skip the line, you get privilege. Like people just want to be next to you. They don't even see you as human anymore. And you can either, you know, use it to your advantage and maybe abuse it, or you can, you know, try to make something happen. I hope these guys are taking notes, especially mental notes, especially for the guy, because I'm pretty sure that Dion is going to produce some NFL players. The NFL is definitely going to look closer at Jackson State because Dion. I think he's good with players. The guy coached in high school. Uh, he, he's coached talented players there. So uh, some of those guys are definitely going to get an opportunity. It's whatever they make with it when they get there. And I think one of the lessons that Dion wants these guys to understand is you can't let these women derail you. You cannot let these women get in the way of whatever goals that you're trying to get to. You have to be able to take advantage of the opportunity to financially enrich yourself, socially enrich yourself. The women are always going to be there, but you don't have to spend your time tricking and chasing these Instagram models who want nothing more than to sap your, uh, I, I would say your fame and your money. And you can put your energy to other uses. You know so uh, let's see a little more a little so more. a lot of guys who are in my dm you're in my dm because of, i'm britney renner so naturally if you play a sport it's kind of like well that's an incentive to talk to you a lot of times women men in general they're everybody wants something thank you everybody wants something so it's like even if we both have our own thing going on me still being with you is a good look because you boost my stock. Just like you boost my, you know what I'm saying? Like, I boost your stock, I, it's just that simple. It's, it's kind of like a give and take, but you have to be aware of what you're signing up for. You're trying to, you want to make it to the NFL and it's kind of like, you do understand there's a lot that comes with that, right? There's gonna, like how, it's, to be able to decipher who really loves you for you, I think that's like the billion dollar question we're all wanting to know. This is how the game is played. Please know that. We're putting you up on pay because some of y'all gonna make it. I hope, pray all y'all make it, even if you make it in the business world. That's a whole nother category of game in that world too. They just dress it up a little different. Yeah. The game is the same. The only thing changed is y'all names. Yeah. That's the stuff I just did right there. Yeah, so that's, that's uh, what Dion said. This is Instagram post here. As you can see, hey, I, I know y'all remember this. I did a video on it and, you know, people on Twitter are, uh, they're just now seeing the video, even though this happened, what, about a month or so ago, you know, this is causing people to go into a stir. They got something to say about Dion. Listen, I don't think that Dion did this because he's trying to push these Instagram thotties, nothing like that. I just think that Dion is putting his players on game. That's what he's supposed to do. That's what uh, I think most of these coaches should do this. 
especially at these power five conferences they need to have more females like britney renner go in there and talk to those guys especially when you have a room full of nfl prospects because a lot of these guys they get there and they out they, they fall off one particular person it, it, that comes to mind is isaiah wilson high first round pick dude didn't last more than a year in the nfl before he started to seem like he lose his mind okay money and when you become famous people see you for who for for your fame they don't see you as a human being they see you as a check and you have to prepare prepare for that yes there's a lot of attractive women on the gram but there's a lot of attractive women in your day-to-day -day life that you don't even have to put half the effort into but i guess because it's convenient but you also got to understand that those women are coming to take from you. That's why they're there. See the rest of this article from Complex. Earlier this year, Renner dated Charlotte Hornets player PJ Washington, although the pair have since broken up. They did have one child together earlier this year. It was rumored at one point he paid $200,000 to child support, which is not true. To her, although he has since denied these claims, Washington potentially responded to Sanders' move on Twitter on Friday, posting a clown emoji. So, uh, as you can see, the mo emoji there. Even though this this uh, happened a while ago, so I guess he felt like P.J. Washington didn't like the fact that Dion did this. He didn't like the fact that Dion would post this video clip even and, and invite her, and then post this video clip later on. Uh, but again, I, I trust what Dion is doing. Dion has not shown me that he's inept. He has not shown me that he is steering these guys in the wrong direction. So I'm going to lean into what he's doing and, and I'm going to look at it as him trying to look out for his players. Cause that's what a lot of these guys should do. A lot of these coaches should be looking out for their players because these players count on these coaches to steer them in the right direction so let me start thinking in the comment section below let me know your thoughts i'm jada black follow me on facebook twitter instagram and i'll see y'all on the next one